up next is Dungeon 6. And uh, do we have to do Dungeon 6 next? It is an open world game, after all. We don't have to do these dungeons in order. I mean, Dungeon 7 is right here. I could show you how to get inside of it. It's pretty neat. No, you want me to do these dungeons in order? Well, since you asked nicely, I guess I'll do Dungeon 6. The Dragon Dungeon. They have got to be messing with me at this point. So in case you couldn't tell by my extreme hesitation, this dungeon is hard and annoying. A true winner's combination. This dungeon introduces us to the Wizrobes, a bunch of blinking, teleporting wizards who are, pardon my French, a-holes. They shoot magic waves at you, which do a lot of damage. Your only defense against their magic is your own magical shield, which sucks because this dungeon is also filled with like-likes. You remember those weird cake-looking things that eat your shield? Oh, but that's not all. This dungeon also introduces blue wizrobes, which are harder-to-kill versions of wizrobes that spam magic waves if they're looking at you. And if you don't think that's bad enough, the mini-boss of this dungeon is a three-headed Gleok. And I've only just recovered from my heart attack from fighting the first one. I can't count how many times I have died in this specific dungeon. But maybe there's some hope with the item of this dungeon. Deep within the depths of this dungeon, you can find the magic wand. Which is completely useless right now. There is no hope. Only Gleok. If you have any luck whatsoever, you will eventually get to the boss of this dungeon. Well, no use in delaying the inevitable. Let's head inside and come face to face with Goma. Man, with how difficult this dungeon has been, I can't imagine how hard the boss is going to be. That's it. That's all it took. Well, anticlimactic battles aside, we're done with the sixth dungeon. Make sure to get that heart container and collect that sixth piece of the Triforce.